I need to cut a whole bunch of board a lot of wood. And I have like a decent amount of land over here. It's going to have plenty of trees that are already dead. I won't even have to cut anything down. So right now I have a chainsaw, a face shield, a spear thing, oil, and all the stuff I need to use a chainsaw. And I'm just going to go out and uh, just see what happens. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. There are too many unknowns to come up with a reasonable plan. When there are this many unknowns, you know, if I try to make a plan, as soon as I start doing stuff, I'm going to end up throwing out the plan. So I'm just going to go get a bit of experience, figure out what's going on, see if I can actually identify a tree. like. All the trees here are different than where I grew up, so I still don't know many of the trees. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to go rummage around, see what I can find laying on the ground. Or I know there was one tall, dead standing tree, where, like the top come off. I don't know, maybe I got hit by lightning or something. But uh, maybe I'll cut that down and cut it up. I don't know, I'm just going to see, see what happens. And then tomorrow, or the next day, I should have a better idea of uh, what do I need, you know, what I need. Maybe I don't need anything. Maybe uh, just cutting freehand, my back's going to get super tired. It's probably happen. And then I'll want to make an Alaskan lumber mill so I can, you know, kind of let the saw rest on its, rest on the wood. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go screw around see what happens. I was walking down my little jungle path here. Oh, there's another chainsaw. There's two chainsaw guys on the next property cutting right now too. It's funny. Anyway, I was walking down my little path here and uh, there was a tree. Let's get a little closer. I guess this big tree fell down between the last time I was here and today, so that was kind of convenient. And uh, that's my first board. It's not bad. Definitely use some improvement, but it's straight. And uh, life significantly improved when I cut the first flat side off, because then I had somewhere to put all my stuff. You know, I hang my bag on a stick that's just stuck in the ground. All right, I guess I'm just gonna cut another slice off there, get a bit more practice. I have no idea what this tree is. It's made out of wood, that's all I know. Oh, and I did use two nails and strung a string across for the first line. But after that, i just been eyeballing it. And it's coming out pretty straight. There's a little bit of curve at the end, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, and this is to warn any bugs or animals or anything to go away. Nice thing about a jungle, a rainforest jungle, you only have to worry about a wildfire starting. I mean, I keep an eye on it anyway, but I mean, everything's wet.
looking pretty uniform. Wow, this is some nice work. Get a few more boards and I'll be some sort of expert or something. Now this tree has a hole through it. This log's moved over a bit, so that hole's like, you know, just back a little bit. I might be able to get, no, I don't think I can get another board. So maybe I can cut some boards out above that hole. And this tree did fall down because of termites. That's what all this stuff is. I guess they got right up through the middle. I figure I can cut this off, get a few cuts before I hit that hole. Maybe do a few over here. I could flip the whole thing over and get some big boards over there. Well, either way, the flat edge right here will be good. Well, we're looking pretty good. That last one, mm, I got some of the hole in it. Eh, part of it's good though. All right, between those boards and stuff I've got over here, I've got at least 150 board feet of wood cut. I need to trim the bark off and stuff, but I had to figure out how wide I want them first. Uh, I did not use a gallon of gasoline, and a gallon was like, I don't know, under $4 anyway. Let's say I used somewhere between $5 and $10 of gasoline, oil, you know, consumables. So that means 3 to $0.06 cents per board foot, I think. Well, that's pretty good. My math might not be right because I'm just like still vibrating from the chainsaw, but yeah, I think it's about right. 3 to $0.06 cents per board foot. Oh, it would cost way more than that. All right. Obviously, that doesn't count the cost of the chainsaw itself, but that's a fixed cost, presuming I take care of it. That's also counting wasting some cuts trying to get around some termite hole stuff. So, I mean, less, I don't know, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, if I buy wood, the cheapest wood I can get is like 40 cents a board foot. So if I can cut it for like three cents, I mean, that's even even the high estimate, six cents a board foot. Significant savings. Uh, so I don't I don't even need to cut that much for uh, this guy to pay for itself. Oh wow, well, I got a lot more tree here. I'm gonna have to figure out what this wood is. Oh, I should go up to the top, way up there, and find some leaves. Take them home and see if I can find them on the internet or something. See what the bark looks like. You know, there's the bark. It looks kind of like a maple. Obviously, it's not a maple, but it's my closest reference. Oh, and all the leaves are dead up here. Ah, that, that whole pile of dead leaves is from this tree. So I guess it was dead before it even fell over. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a leaf in good enough condition to compare to anything. Oh jeez, I don't know what it is. It's wood and it's strong. That's a 10 foot span and that handles its weight no problem. Ah. I am concerned about termites in the bark. So, yeah, there's a bunch in there. So maybe I'll just trim all these down to, I don't know, 2x6s and 2x12s? Oh, there we go. Now I have a bunch of two by sticks. I don't know what measurement this stick is, but uh, I didn't see any reason to go get my tape measure. This stick's as good as any other measurement. Man, that chainsaw did great. Oh, I like it. The only thing I didn't like was my ear things on my head all day. Just, I mean, at first it's fine, but like after an hour and a half, it's just like pressing on my head. And I'm just like, get off. Oh man, my head still kind of hurts. <clears throat> I have to get the little ones I stick in my ears. 